Aristotle. Aristotle lived from 384 BC to 322 BC, the son of the court physician of the royal family of Macedon. Aristotle was born in Stagira, Greece. In 367 BC, Aristotle went to Athens and became a student of Plato. He later became a teacher at the academy, but left 20 years later, possibly due to not being chosen to replace Plato as the head of the academy after his death. Aristotle moved back to Macedonia and became the tutor of the son of King Philip II, Alexander the Great. Aristotle returned to Athens in 335 BC and established his own school called the Lyceum. Aristotle taught at the Lyceum for 12 years, but had to flee Athens in 323 BC due to a wave of anti-Macedonian sentiment sweeping throughout Athens following the death of Alexander the Great. Aristotle's works reflect a wide range of subjects including logic, ethics, metaphysics, politics, economics, rhetoric, poetry, theater, music, meteorology, astronomy, biology, physics, and psychology. His writings survived in the form of treatises and lecture notes preserved by his students and were later collected and edited by Androcles of Rhodes in the first century BC. Aristotle's works would later be copied and stored in libraries around the ancient world and then translated into Latin and Arabic during the medieval period by Christian and Muslim scholars. Aristotle effectively established the philosophical study of logic and refined the universal rules of reasoning to help pursue knowledge. An example of his logical experiments is this syllogism. 1. All men are mortal. 2. Socrates is a man. And 3. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. Regarding his views on metaphysics, politics, and biology, Aristotle believed that everything that exists can be categorized and placed into a specific place in a hierarchy. He rejected Plato's theory of the realm of forms and focused on the universal essence of whatever something is. According to Aristotle's views on ethics, before a man can be considered good, he must first determine what his function is. Only when he has performed his function well will he achieve his goal. Virtue is a matter of finding the right balance between opposing vices.